Welcome back to another Magic Mondays. First, to go over last week's guesses. Up first, we have Asflower. We didn't fold the paper in a special way, but thanks for the guess. Our next guess is Danny Dank. Your smiley face looks like a le Wait, that's not a guess. Are you talking about this masterpiece? Look, man, I spent four years in art school to be able to draw like this. I'd appreciate you not calling my smiley face a lemon head. All right, next guess. Uh, fold the paper and switch. No, but folding paper is a, g a valid way to do a lot of magic tricks, just not this one. Oh, also, we've got Pokemon back in action. For anybody who wasn't around when Pokemon was first producing solid hits, get on it now. Subscribe. He's only got five subs, so every sub matters when you're a small channel like that. So go check him out. Now let's review some of the winning guesses. We've got Angelo. He figured out how he did it. It is a magic pen that you quickly attach. However, there's slightly more to it, but that's pretty much it. And Danny's got pretty much the most articulate guess here. The pen's magnetic. The tip is magnet, so you quickly put the tip on the other side, which connects to the pen body. That's it in a nutshell, so let's see it now. One of the ways magicians will perform this trick is to take a bill from the audience, um, but here in Canada our bills are plasticky so you can't actually use the pen to write on them. So here this trick probably sees much less use, but you can do it with a piece of paper. Um, you want to get the spectator to take the piece of paper and the pen so they can inspect the pen and write whatever they want on it. When you take back the piece of paper and the pen, you want to cap the pen with the correct tip in the cap without drawing really attention to it. Just kind of put it into your hand like this and you want to get the tip from in your hand on the other end and then you want to kind of draw attention to whatever they've drawn. This doesn't look like a smiley face. This looks more like a lemon and you could say something like that. And then how I usually do the tip to the bases, I'll usually point out what they've drawn from the bottom like this while taking the tip in my hand like this. So I'll say, oh, you drew a smiley face here. And then I'll take the pen up like this while covering the tip. And I'll kind of just make the slamming down motion really quick. And you want to make sure you touch the tips of the magnets so it grabs it on both sides. And as far as it being stuck, when you pull it from the paper, it just naturally comes off. So whether you do it fast or slow, once you've made the connection, it's going to come off perfectly fine. Now, w the moment you want to show this to the spectator, they're taking the piece of paper and looking to see that there's no hole. That's when you want to re-switch the pen out and retake the tip out and put the good tip back out. And then if they need to see the pen again, you can hand them. So that's probably the one of the better ways to do it. And this week's trick, the magical flower pod. And as you can see, there's nothing on the bottom, nothing on the sides, nothing inside. But if we take the magic wand and we say the magic words, blueberry muffin, all of a sudden, now there's a flower that's appeared. Even smells kind of nice. Make sure you comment your guests below for a chance to be featured in next week's episode. Thanks again for watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks!